Welcome back you guys. In this quick video, I'm gonna show you guys how to fish anywhere on vacation or on the ocean for under $100. First things first, you're gonna need your rod and reel. This is just a Penn Fierce 3, I believe. 4,000 series, plenty big for just about anything game fish wise off the shore. Now, when I used to go on vacation before I moved to Florida, we used to just buy brand new fishing poles from the store, which is a complete waste because we wouldn't be able to bring them back with us and we'd end up just leaving them after using them for a week. But you can go on Facebook Marketplace and there's a lot of people that are selling them for a fraction of the price. Just make sure you get a decent saltwater reel. You don't want to buy some piece of junk that breaks right when you get it. I believe I actually got this one, this pole for $5. I bought it in a bundle. You're probably not going to get that good of a deal. These are new, I believe around $100 if you buy them at like Dick's. But you can still get something like this for probably 30 bucks. I mean, it works fine. I've had it for a few months now and... It's a great reel. I've caught most of my bait fish for shark fishing on it. And I've just got, I believe it's 20 pound, it might be 30, but 20 or 30 pound braid, that's what you're gonna want. At least 20, up to 40 is good for anything from the shore, as long as you're using a minnow or a shrimp. So another thing, the bait fish from the store are actually pretty expensive. Uh, where I go, they're like $2 per fish, which is crazy. Most people either just buy the shrimp or what I do is I use a cast net, which is also how I rig my line to. This is just an old cast net weight. And pretty much if you guys are freshwater fishers and you're just coming down for vacation, freshwater and saltwater fishing are two completely different sports. Even just making sure you wash your reel correctly is a must. I'll actually make another video on that on how to clean your reel correctly because you don't wanna be going out the second day on vacation, try to go fishing and your reel is freezing up because you didn't clean it right. Okay, so essentially you got your pole rigged up, your line, and then you're gonna have your weight, and this doesn't have to be a cast net weight, I just use them because it's cheaper than buying them. This is a one ounce weight, which is what I would recommend. If the waves are big, maybe go for a two ounce, but on a smaller game pole, you're not gonna want anything bigger than a two, but I use one ounce and they work just fine. So essentially, the weight just sits right on top of your swivel here, which connects the mono and the braid, just like that. And then I use about two feet, this is a little more than what I usually use, but about two feet of, this is either 30 or 40 pound mono, just because freshwater fish don't really seem to make a big deal out of it, but saltwater fish can see, especially the game fish, they'll see the braid and they won't go for the bait. But essentially this just floats a couple, a couple feet above the bottom and you got your, this is a size one circle hook, I believe. And you just put your shrimp or your pinfish on there and that's really all you need. Maybe just a good set of pliers too, in case the fish swallows it, which you can get at Walmart, obviously. But all this you can get for under $100. I mean, it's a great way to do it if you're just gonna be on vacation for a week and you wanna get some fishing in. But that's really all you need. I moved to Florida like six months ago. I'm here for school right now, and I've been really getting into the shark fishing. Got a couple of 8500 series. I got a new one when we were home over the holidays. A couple of nice big offshore poles as well. But I am going to make a video here real shortly on how to clean your poles after saltwater fishing because it is a really important thing. I lost a few reels myself just learning how to even clean them. But anyways, I know this video is going to help a lot of people out. I personally could have used a video like this when I was going on vacation. But if you guys found it useful, please hit the like button, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys soon.